By now, you've probably consumed every video there is on the Osmo Action Cam versus the Hero 7 Black, and everyone had the same thing to say. The lens on the Osmo Action is just too narrow, which is really weird when you consider that they basically copied GoPro spec for spec, uh, but then decided to go with a different lens. Now, here's the thing. I've noticed that the lens on the Osmo Action Camera looks very similar to what's called a M12 lens. And this is actually the same type that's in the GoPro. You can actually buy these things aftermarket with uh, different focal lengths and swap them out or replace broken lenses as needed. So what does that mean? Well, it means that there's actually a very good chance you can swap out the lens on the Osmo action camera. Now I tried once before to take this apart, but I ran into issues. I didn't have the right tools. So I bought a whole new toolkit just for this video. And we're gonna take a second crack at this uh, whole lens thing, hopefully not literally, and see if it is possible to put a wider lens on the Osmo action camera. Stick around, it's gonna get pretty interesting. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is just go ahead and pop out that battery. And once that's out, unscrew the lens cover from the front of the camera. Now the toolkit that I got is really nice. Uh, I'm not affiliated with iFixit at all. I've just always wanted this. It's 60 bucks, but man, is it awesome. It's got a little magnetic tray there. All the tools you need for projects like this. I, I have a link in the description below if this is something you're into. So now that we have a camera ready, we're gonna go ahead and pop off the front uh, cover there. And this is just held in place with snap tabs. So once you get it a little bit open, it's pretty easy to get the rest off. Uh, just be careful that you don't leverage anything too much and it should be fine. It'll pop back on when you're done. Then we just need to remove five screws to actually be able to open up the camera and get at the internals. Just be careful when you do open it up, there is a ribbon cable attaching that LCD case to the main board. Once you get the ribbon cable removed, you can take a look at the front of the camera. Uh, there's the LCD on the right side, but you'll notice on the left, there's this nice big glob of thermal paste. That's because the front of the camera uh, actually has a bit of a heat sink on there. Kind of interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take off the rest of this thermal solution. It's pretty interesting. You got this little heat pipe here. We'll take a closer look in a second, but you want to remove these three screws to be able to pop it loose. Now that we have it off, let's take a little bit of a closer look. I was super impressed when I saw this. It makes me think that either uh, the CPU is working within an inch of its life or it's got a lot more overhead. There's also this little thermal pad you need to remove. Make sure you set that aside. You don't want to lose it. Now we just start popping ribbon cables loose from the motherboard. There's a lot of layers here, so do take it easy. Some of them are taped together. You might have to cut or peel back the tape. Just be extremely careful. Uh, if you cut a ribbon cable, you are out of luck. Underneath this ribbon cable is the wire for the Wi-Fi module. It's held in place with a little bit of hot glue. Just carefully scrape that off and then the wire should pop loose. There is one last screw hiding right here to remove the motherboard. Go ahead and take that out, but set it aside because it is different than all the other screws. You don't want to get it mixed up. Now we can go ahead and pop out the motherboard. I left that speaker wire attached because it's way too fickle to remove and it doesn't prevent us from getting the motherboard out anyways. We'll take a moment to closely inspect the board later, but next we're gonna remove the battery enclosure and that literally just pops out. It's really easy actually. That's the inside of the camera basically gutted. The last thing is to remove this board for the USB and SD card. There's a tiny little screw hiding down in there. Once you remove it, just get a pair of tweezers and you should be able to gently coax it loose. You might have to peel some tape back though. This cluster of parts contains the SD card reader, the USB connector, and the Wi-Fi module. So if you have any problems with those, this is where you need to start. Home stretch. We just need to remove three screws and the lens assembly is free. So this is as far as I got last time because I ran into a major problem. 
GoPro holds its lens into the lens mount with a tiny dollop of super glue that you can crack open easy. DJI epoxied the absolute crap out of this. You can see I tried to scratch it loose because I was so desperate. And um, this is where I got stuck. So now I'm gonna try to use every tool in this toolkit to get the circuit board free from the lens mount and hope that we can make a new mount that can get stuck back on. But I have no idea what's going on under this thing. It could be a little bit of glue, it could be a ton of glue. It might be able to be softened with heat, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna take a stab at it with every tool I got. And eventually I worked up to a metal tool to try to remove it, but I just was going to damage something, so I decided to give up. With that defeat, I decided to clean up the CPU just to take a close look at it, but wasn't surprised because DJI listed the CPU that they used when they announced this camera. For those curious, here's the cache and memory modules on the other side. At this point, I'm just going to put it back together, and for the sake of time, let's do a time lapse. Just for shines and giggles, I'm going to put some high performance thermal paste in there. I almost guarantee it's not going to affect the camera in any way, but hey, smoke it if you got it. Just to avoid damaging the waterproof gasket, I like to take the screws and kind of tack them in place. Just turn them a couple times so that way they're holding the front of the case in place, but there's still plenty of play. This allows me to make sure everything's centered and aligned and then go ahead and push it down and then start tightening down the screws. Now I just kind of do it corner by corner and I'm not tightening down too much. I'm only using my thumb and finger there just to make sure I don't over torque them and strip something out because then you're kind of screwed. No pun intended. There's probably a good chance that the O-ring for the lens fell off while you were taking it apart. It doesn't matter which way you put it in, just go ahead and tack it in place with your fingers and then probe it into place using some sort of tool. When you put on the lens cover, it'll properly seat itself in and you should be good to go. Speaking of the lens, go ahead and clean off all the finger smudges you put on there with your nasty hands using a high quality microfiber cloth and also clean up the LCD screen while you're at it because hashtag OCD. Okay, now we can just put on the front cover, screw on the lens protector, and then go ahead and insert the battery. If you see the red LED turn on, that's a great first sign, but you always need to make sure that it actually turns on. And it does! I managed not to kill this. Wow, two times taken apart and it still works fine, as far as I can tell anyways. So that's basically it. This is actually a really easy camera to work on, and I'm very hopeful that maybe DJI will help us out in the future. But let me go ahead and give you guys some more closing thoughts. I'm not gonna lie, this was really frustrating for me because this is almost the perfect action camera in the sense that you can actually replace stuff if it gets broken, like this front LCD screen, which is really awesome. If it gets smashed, I can actually replace it. Whereas with GoPros, um, if you open these things up, you lose all the waterproofing. It's done. So you may as well just leave the broken screen in there. It's probably safer. Whereas this, it's fine if you take it apart. So that's my biggest frustration is... I can't even replace this lens if it gets damaged, which yes, it has the lens protector on there, but quite honestly, a good rock strike is gonna go straight through that and damage the lens anyways. So DGI, here's my argument to you. It's obvious that this is a standard part. You can go out and order a bunch of wide angle lenses. So start making these things with a wider lens because that's one of the biggest complaints everyone's had about it. Now, for the rest of us that have already bought this camera, maybe offer a exchange program. We pay shipping plus another 50 bucks to send you the camera and then you send us one with a wider lens. You take the one that we sent you, you refurbish it with a wider lens and sell it at a discount. Yeah, it's gonna kinda suck, but you know, quite honestly, it would be awesome because I can tell you this, 
I've tried both of these on bikes and I can say quite clearly, even though this GoPro has caused me some headaches sometimes, the DJI isn't gonna replace it. But the DJI currently is a solid backup and vlogging camera. So if you put a wider lens on here, yeah. So think about that. Anyways, uh, sorry this was kind of a letdown video, guys, that I didn't have a cool guy hack, but hopefully you found it entertaining at the very least that someone took apart a brand new $350 camera just to see how it works. Uh, so maybe give this video a like uh, to show your appreciation for me being brave or stupid, and uh, maybe share it with a friend who might find it interesting as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, maybe hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I like to do these camera experiments every now and then, and uh, occasionally I also talk about bikes, so maybe you're inter interested in that. Oh, I can't talk. So with that, I'm going to close this video down. Uh, thank you for watching again, and until next time, get out there and find your next adventure. Have a good one.